Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and we have a brand new month of the story mode fragment farming. Although we are still technically in March, every 30 days this resets. So we have a brand new list of characters that are required for getting the most out of the story mode fragment farming. And I wanted to make a video about this this month. I may make one next month, but this month is especially important because with the anniversary, and I know I say this a lot, but with the anniversary just 30 days away, you're looking at another tier three selector, another potential transcendent selector. And so choosing the right characters or, or actually working on the right characters now to not overlap with characters that you're going to be choosing in a month or whatever is really important. And you can choose characters now, like if you've if you've hoarded materials since the beginning of March and now you're going to, uh, you know, upgrade some new characters to get more fragments here. Now would be a perfect time to take a look at this list so you can get the most out of these characters because it just changed today. So you'll get 30 full days of that character's value. And then next month when, they, when we do this again, you'll be able to use the transcendent and tier three selector wisely to get even more fragments, to get even more tier three materials so that we can accelerate this process. So this is a really important time for players accounts in Marvel Future Fight. The next 30 days are gonna be so crucial uh, because it could literally double the number of tier three or transcendent characters that you end up having at the beginning of May, which is huge, right? Not just with the free selectors, but also because of the, or at the end of May, I should say, because of the uh, fragments that you can farm. So rather than going through this list and looking at the characters down there, like Winter Soldier, Nightcrawler, and X-23, and then we've got Mr. Sinister, or sorry, Mr. Fantastic, Thanos, and Taskmaster, what I've put together with help from Jess Rainbow, one of my Discord mods, fantastic human being, is a new spreadsheet. You know I like them spreadsheets, them Google spreadsheets. So here we go. It is the third tab from the bottom here, the tier list tab, the champ building, the champ uh, building tab curated and, and maintained by Miriam Dandelion, another wonderful human being, and then the story mode. So this is a brand new one, and I'm just going to basically explain it to you straightforwardly, but it's it's, it's also pretty straightforward to, to check out here. You have the character's icon, which is the character. You have the total number of times that they have appeared since story mode started. It's not super, this is not a super important piece of information, but it's good to know for characters that are new uh, and just got their uniforms, but also for characters that just have not been featured very much. So for example, Arrow got her uniform back in November. It's been about five months of story mode fragment farming or six months, and yet she's only appeared two times. That's pretty important to note. Uh, and then you, you know, you sort of, we, we've discussed this in a separate video, but yeah, this sort of goes without saying. Uh, and then for this month, I'm calling it April, even though it's technically starting March 31st, for the month of April, you can see if the character is featured on any mission. And so in this case, for uh, Adam Warlock, he's featured, featured on mission 2-1. So if you go over to mission 2-1, you will see that he is featured there. So rather than doing it mission by mission, I'm doing it character by character. And I think this is a much better way of doing it because it basically allows you to very quickly at a glance see not only which characters are featured the most, uh, as you know, as per the highlighting, if it's if it's gray and it's NA, that means they're not applicable. They don't appear this month at all. Like they're dodged, like um, uh, Colossus and Carnage. Or you can see if they're in one mission, it's kind of yellow. If they're in two missions, it's kind of orange. And then if they're in three or more missions, it is green. The other really good thing about this month in general is that there is no character that is featured for more than three missions. So that's a really really good plus. Uh, there are some unfortunate characters like um, <laughs> Nightcrawler that is featured for three, and I believe also Sunbird is featured for three. Um, but we also have some really good, really popular or sort of cheap characters that you can get that are available for three different fragments like Captain America and Star, uh, Star Lord. So yeah, otherwise this list is, is pretty much, you know, very straightforward. You, you Professor X, okay, he's on mission three, two and mission seven, two. And it basically just goes based on the missions. You know, the first eight uh, missions from, from 1 1 to 8 2, I believe, or 8 3, those are for the Dimension Rift uh, missions, uh, for the Dimensional Clash, excuse me. And then from 9 1 to 10 2, it is the True Shield. And then from 11, I believe, uh, 11 1 to 12 2, it is the All War. And then from 13 1 to 13 3, it is Thanos. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about that's really important is for these missions in particular, you do want to take a little bit more of a closer look because sometimes you have characters like Hyperion or Spider-Man who have one or two elemental skills, but not a full range of elemental skills. We don't have to worry about this here. Cap has three elemental skills, I believe, or two, but they're hard hitting and they have large AOEs. Uh, and then Sunbird and Rogue are full elemental. Here, all three characters are full elemental, so you don't have to worry about that. 
um here all three characters are basically full elemental maybe namor has one non-elemental skill but it's not really an issue uh, and then here it's also fine so the only real issue for the all war is this team here if storm is in the lead she's pretty squishy uh, sunbird has the revive and beta ray bill has the heal so you may want to switch to one of those characters when you get to surter or when you get to odin or for at the beginning of the fight if you just don't want to deal with it but yeah keep that in mind because if storm dies when you're autoing and you have all three then you have a 25 percent lower chance to get a fragment you're now down from 100 down to 75 and then for the 13 uh the 13 missions they can be a little bit more difficult but you have some very tanky characters here with sentry and apocalypse here you're fine too because all these characters are tanky or they have healing heimdall doesn't have healing but he is actually quite tanky and then you have actually a really good team for 13-3 there's expensive characters for sure both silver surfer and proxima in terms of cost is unfortunate but proxima is going to give you more damage to villains i.e thanos boss wave is going to give you more damage to villains and decrease damage to villains and she does that to both herself and to silver surfer and then silver surfer is very tanky with the revive so this team should be able to easily auto the fight with thanos and even if silver surfer dies he's going to revive and he'll finish the, the fight off uh from from there uh versus thanos so hopefully this uh new piece of information this new uh guide is helpful to you uh, i'll continuously update it in may when we get the new uh fragments and the new requirements and i'll basically continue it from there and the total appearances will also edit from there uh, just one more thing on the total appearances it basically just helps to see uh, you know if a character hasn't been featured much or they've been featured a lot the chances of them being featured in the future are probably lower so Dormammu was featured a, a lot a heck of a lot uh in the last you know 13 months 14 months since the story mode fragments came out he's the second highest featured character after Scarlet Witch so it's not surprising that now we see him in very few missions and vice versa the characters that are in very few missions we're probably going to see start seeing them a lot more um, because it seems like the devs are keeping this quite balanced um, and so yeah I wouldn't necessarily jump on the bandwagon like if you want to tier 3 these or transcend these characters for other reasons they're very good but if you're just transcending or tier 3 them for the fragments I would say best case scenario just wait and see what the next month's fragment requirements are or uh, look for characters that are going to help your roster and also not featured very often uh, you know so far because that's going to play a little bit more into it except for really bad characters like Ares that's probably like if it's been too long there's sort of like a tipping point if it's been too long that they've been haven't been featured uh then that's probably a, a bad sign but yeah hopefully that helps you guys out let me know if there's anything that you wish you could add to this list that I could that we could that we could add to make it even more um helpful it seems like that's pretty much all the information you need for story mode but who knows maybe I'm missing out on something uh important so yeah thanks so much for watching just a small little PSA video and some information so you guys can make better decisions uh, I'm gonna go and transcend Nightcrawler now so wish me luck on that because he's featured for three missions and I want those fragments and I don't have him transcended yet so yeah and I'm also really lucky because this month Morbius is not recommended or he's not required for any fragments so I can completely skip his ass which I was planning to do for the movie anyways so yeah thanks so much for watching hit me up down below in the comments with your comments and, and ideas if you have any smash the like button keeps the channel going and I'll see you in the next one take care